In this problem, we have to find the derivative of the hyperbolic secant cubed of x. So maybe we'll start by writing it like this. This is really parentheses hyperbolic secant of x, and this whole thing is cubed. And the formula that we're going to need to do this problem is basically the derivative with respect to x of the hyperbolic secant of x. So this is actually equal to negative hyperbolic secant of x, hyperbolic tangent of x. It's a little bit different than the regular formula for secant. You see, because if it's secant, it's secant tangent. But when it's the hyperbolic, you get this extra negative sign, which makes it a little bit more confusing. So here what we're going to do is use the chain rule. Right? We have this function to a power. So dy dx is equal to, so we'll leave the inside piece untouched. It's the hyperbolic secant. We'll bring down the 3, so it's 3 parentheses hyperbolic secant of x. And then we subtract 1 from the exponent, so 3 minus 1 is 2. And then times, now we multiply by the derivative of this inside function. The derivative of the inside function is right here. It's parentheses negative hyperbolic secant of x, hyperbolic tangent of x. We can simplify this a little bit, right? Because this here is really to the first power. So we can combine these and put the negative in the front. So dy dx is equal to negative 3 hyperbolic secant of x cubed hyperbolic tangent of x. And I'll leave it just like this. You can go back and write it in like the shorthand method like this, but it doesn't really matter. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is trying to learn some math. Good luck to you.